is life not a thousand times too short for us to bore ourselves? It's a quote from Nietzsche. And I have felt bored many times in my life as an entrepreneur and creator. By the way, I'm Jordan, 23 years old, did over $4 million in revenue, hired over 50 people, and I'm making videos on YouTube since 2012. I share this because you have been conditioned to care about numbers and appearance, but it is effectiveness over appearance that works. And on the surface, you don't appear to be bored right now, right? But wouldn't you rather be working right now on that thing that you wrote down on New Year's Eve, right? Those 2024 goals that you've set, you don't appear to be bored, but maybe you are. I came across this quote recently and it resonated. The truth is that everyone is bored and devotes himself to cultivating habits. Your mind is constantly asking for pleasure, is it not? Or maybe better said, something more pleasurable. Because as I'm recording this, there is something more pleasurable, right? There are lots of things that can give me more pleasure than just sitting down and recording these videos. And I've found one thing to be true for myself, which is this. Sleep is like a reset button. If I give my mind something of pleasure early in the day, then the less pleasurable things that I want to work on become more difficult to focus on later in the day. But it is often that those things are the things that I really want. Just to give you an example, if I watch the World Cup highlights of the Dutch soccer team against Spain in the World Cup final, right after I wake up, then of course for my mind it's really difficult to focus on something that is much less stimulating. In that moment, when I want to work on something after watching that, I need a lot of willpower, right? But I ask myself, is there not a better way? Is there a way to never feel bored again? So I have a question for you. Can you feel bored right now if you are living here completely in the moment, observing everything without being occupied with observation. Is it possible for me to feel boredom in this state of mind? Or maybe better said, a state of no mind? I don't think so. I don't think boredom can be there because I am experiencing everything without being the experiencer. You see what I mean? Whatever it is, I'm doing it without thinking about doing it. When my mind can't speak, I can't hear boredom. That's what I think to be true. But don't believe me. You are unserious if you believe me. You're serious if you ask yourself. So how can we get to this state? That's my question. Big disclaimer though. I can only share from my limited, very limited personal experience. I have not understood all the intricacies of my mind yet. I've made some realizations that are absolutely true, but never believe me, never believe anyone, for beliefs will always remain beliefs. So self-experimentation is always the path to the serious person. So that's what I do and two things have been fundamental for this question to me of how to get to this state of mind. Number one is wanting to understand the core of the matter. And number two is actually understanding the source of the emotion, in this case boredom. I mean, if you don't really want to understand this emotion, where it comes from, and how to resolve it, how to eliminate it, how can you think it will disappear? It reminds me of a quote that I found. She refused to be bored because she wasn't boring. So are you refusing to be bored? Are you constantly escaping from the fear of boredom? Please think about it. So how can boredom really change your life? I assume that may be the reason why you clicked on this video in the first place. How can boredom change your life? By understanding it, by fully understanding the emotion, where it comes from, why it's there, why it's not not there because when you've realized how boredom arises your mind can no longer trick you you see every time when you feel bored your mind screams phone pleasure food but now you know the reality of it which is that it is not you who feels bored it is your mind saying that you are bored so that it can get what it wants and then the last thing in your way is just the desire to not ignore this reality when your desire to no longer ignore the truth is greater than your ignorance, then your life will change. For then you finally start to see how your life really was all along. If you want to understand more about this, you can watch this video next. And the serious person may check the show notes. Talk soon. And here's a poem, by the way, about the essence of this message. Feeling bored, our dear friend, will boredom ever end? 
Can we break this endless chain and maybe find in boredom something to gain? For the mind, a demanding beast always screams for more a pleasure's feast. Yet how to reach this sacred space where boredom's grip has lost its trace? A life where boredom whispers not, where the present moment is all we've got. In understanding, I find my key to unlock the doors of boredom. That's what sets me free.